Gotta love Joe St. George. Let's talk about a, a whole new world, though. Mm -hmm. You know, Aladdin, the hit Broadway musical, <laughs> now playing at the Kravitz Center in West Palm Beach. So what does it take to create and maintain more than 200 costumes? I don't know, but you know who looked into it? T.A. Walker, shining a light on the wardrobe, helped make some magic happen and something even a genie can't create. Guys, this is really exciting. We're backstage at Disney's Aladdin. It's here at the Kravitz Center through the end of the week. And this is what they call Wardrobe Village. You can see all these feathers and costumes behind me. And we're here with Elisa, who's in charge of all the costumes and all the wardrobe. What? How many pieces are there? There are over 236 costumes in the show, 77 custom-built sh shoes. Uh, all these costumes, it took uh, about about 205 people through 18 shops to build all of the custom builds. That's crazy. And this room you're calling the Oasis because it has Princess Jasmine in it. Good morning. Hi, good morning. <laughs> well, so tell me about our tiara. Uh, this is the tar tiara for the wedding. Um, it is put on during a quick change and it's all uh, crystal. It's all those crystals are attached by hand. It's all hand crafted. And then check out her beautiful wedding dress. Tell me about that. Uh, it's 18 pounds. It's 18 pounds. 18 pounds. Sinzel, what's it like uh, wearing or dancing in an 18 pound dress? It's a time for sure. So all I can say is I'm glad that this is the costume I wear the least in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And I want to come over here and talk to Adi. He plays Aladdin himself. And this is a really nice costume for him. Yeah, That's for the Prince Ali. Um, he wears it for most of the second act. Um, all hand beaded, uh, crystals, beads. This right here is one of our most intensive things to like keep up on the beading because all of these beads are hand sewn. Adi, when you wear something like that, do you just feel regal? Oh yeah, it completely helps with my character um, and it just puts me in that headspace, you know? And when kids see you like on stage, do their faces just light up? Um, yeah, so when I actually transform into this outfit, it's at the end of Act One, and normally I'll get like a big applause because it happens in this in a span of like 20 seconds. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Thank you. And let's go over here and talk to Marcus. And Marcus, you play the genie, obviously. <laughs> yes, I do. And tell me about wearing this costume. What's that like? This is a beautiful costume. Uh, brilliantly designed by Greg Barnes. Um, it's so sparkly, and, and, and every time I come out on stage in it, people just go crazy because there's just so much happening. Can you turn around? Yes, of course, of course. And it's so detailed. So, yeah. And then we have just a few seconds, and what is these boots about? <laughs> My favorite pair of shoes yes. in the entire show. <laughs> they belong to the genie. Um, custom built and um, require a lot of maintenance because he spends the entire show in them. and. Yeah. They, it's their leather, they're beautiful, handcrafted. It's Greg Barnes who designed the show. Two-time Tony Award winner is just, his eye for detail is just outstanding. Hey Lisa, thank you so much. Uh, the show is gonna be here at the Kravitz Center until Friday. Tickets start at $39, back to you.